probably need it because I ain't got none. And if it rains, it won't pay. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. The Bank of Monroe values our local businesses, our communities and schools, and we value you. With locations in both Monroe and Greenbrier County, we are right where you need us to be. We are the local bank that you can trust with your business and personal banking needs. Visit us on the web or one of our branches in Union, Lewisburg, or Fairleigh. Bank local with the Bank of Monroe. Because we care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution.
Is my still good? Could everyone please stand and gentlemen remove your caps for the playing of the national anthem. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Along with Greenbrier East running back Nate Suttle, I am Brandon Baker, and we are absolutely thrilled to bring you this broadcast of the Class A state playoffs between the fourth-seeded Greenbrier West Cavaliers and the 13th-seeded Wirt County Tigers. Wirt County is located in Elizabeth, West Virginia, and they bring a 6-4 and four record into tonight's game. Their season was a little strange. They opened with two wins. Then from September 8th through the 29th, they lost four games in a row. So this was a two-and-four football team after six weeks. However, they bounced back and closed the season on a four-game winning streak to get to that six-and-four record and secured a spot in the state playoffs. 
Jason Hickman is the head man for the Tigers and relies heavily on senior running back Chase Lowe. Lowe ran for a school single-season rushing record of 1,607 yards and added 18 touchdowns. Lowe has 3,237 career yards and needs just 54 yards tonight to be Work County's all-time leading rusher. Lowe's brother Channing paves the way for Chase, but Channing also has over 600 yards and six touchdowns himself. Quarterback Tyler Smith is another key cog in the Tigers' wheel. Smith has thrown for 1,077 yards with 12 touchdowns and just two interceptions. Three receivers we may mention a lot tonight for Work County include Brody Ewing, Isaiah Sampson, and Porter Goodwin. So that's the quick rundown of those unfamiliar with Work County. Needing no introduction are the 10-0 Cavaliers and their exciting playmakers. Quarterback Cole Vandal set multiple records this season and is thrown for 1,447 yards and 24 touchdowns and has only two interceptions. Jake Pate brings 1,025 yards rushing into the game to go along with 19 touchdowns. He also has 10 receptions, 240 yards, and three more touchdowns. Isaac Agee has just 44 carries this year but made them count for 400 yards and six scores. He, too, can catch the ball out of the backfield and has logged six catches for 144 yards and three touchdowns. Tucker Lilly, Colton Dunbar, and jack-of-all-trades Ethan Holliday are the other standouts at wide receiver. The offensive line deserves a lot of credit for the Cavaliers. They have opened holes for backs all year and consistently given Vandal time to throw the football. So that's where we are tonight, Greenbrier West and Work County. They'll battle it out to stay alive and advance here in the state playoffs. We'll be right back with kickoff here shortly on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Cavaliers will receive to start the game. Greenbrier West will get the football to start this game here in Charmco. Greenbrier West 10 and 0 in the regular season. Work County 6 and 4. Kicking off for Work County is number 52, Colton Toller. Approaches the ball, a little pooch kick down to about the 20. Taken there by Jake Pate. He finds a seam and gets across the 40 to the 45 to the 50. Inside Work County territory, he is all the way down. The big return for Jake Pate. It's a great way to start this game. Yeah, he's, he got that at the 20. Let's see where they officially marked it. Looks like about the 23. It's about a 57-yard return on that play for Jake Pate. What a good start for the Cavaliers. <clears throat> I mean, that's the best way you could start. Yeah, excellent field position for the Cavaliers. <clears throat> that might be all they need to get some momentum started early in this game. 
First and ten, Greenbrier West from the Tigers' 23. Cole Vandal in the shotgun. Man in motion, and he flips it. That's Ethan Holiday. Ooh. Holiday takes a leap over a defender. Big gain there to the 14. Let's see if they give him enough for a first down there. Should go They'll give him nine yards, second and one. Wildcat. Yeah, and Holiday in the Wildcat takes off to the right. He's got a first down inside the 10. He is into the end zone. That is a 14-yard touchdown run for Ethan Holiday. And as they've done all season, West starts fast and lead at 6 nothing. With 11-18 left here in the first quarter, just 42 seconds gone. That was a very fast start from West. Yeah, they're a quick starting team. Oh, bobbled snap. Yeah, bobbled snap there, and Hayden Ridgeway's extra point just rolls into the line of scrimmage. So that'll be 6 nothing. 11-18 to go here in the first quarter. This is Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. We'll be right back after this. So ready for kickoff now. As Hayden Ridgeway will kick this ball away for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers lead 6-0. They just had a 14-yard touchdown run from Ethan Holiday. And West with a quick start here in the state playoffs against Work County. Ridgeway, a line drive kick taken at about the 15-yard line. And a nice tackle there. That's number 22, Isaac Agee. That was Isaiah Sampson, one of the top receivers on this Work County team that had the return right there. But Isaac Agee with a wonderful play to stop him. Let's see all the Cavalier defense does early. Well, they're pretty tough. They allow just 5.9 points per game. They gave up 59 points all season. Mm. First play, there's a big stop there. Looks like Holiday. Stop number five, that's Channing Lowe. He's the brother of Chase Lowe, the star running back for this Work County team. It's a three-yard loss to make it second down and 13 for the Tigers. I think the Cowboys are going to utilize pressure early so that they can just uh, interrupt everything that Work County is trying to do. Smith back, and he is under pressure, and he goes down. It's Jacob Nutter. Yeah, Jacob Nutter with a big-time play. Cavaliers couldn't ask for a better start early. That's going to bring up third down and a long ways to go. <clears throat> I'd definitely be expecting a pass here, but also got to keep that pressure strong. Because I think the pressure can get to him before he gets the pass off. Yeah, third down and 23 from their own six. Not the situation you want to be in against this Cavalier defense. Not at all. Smith drops back, throws a little short screen to Brody Ewing. Ewing breaks one tackle, maybe gets a couple yards. But it's a punt situation now for the Tigers. I don't disagree with that play call. Played it safe. I would like to see them air it out a little bit, you know, show Goodbar West that they're not scared to throw it. So Peyton Holiday back to receive this punt. Oh, a low snap. He just does get it away. That's the quarterback, Tyler Smith, also acting as the punter. It takes a Work County bounce. 
And West will get it started at about their own 44. So that's where they'll start when we get back. Brandon Baker, Nate Sutto on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Wirt County punts. West starts at their own 44, first down and 10. Vandal in the shotgun. He's got three receivers bunched out to the right side. Jake Pate comes in motion, gets the pitch. He's got good blocking. He's got room. Pate gets it up over midfield. Close to a first down. Looks like a gain of about nine. Eight or nine there for Jake Pate. They've been using that uh, jet sweep pretty early. It's been working pretty good for them. I think they've one or two blocks away from breaking that one big. Yeah, so pickup of eight for Pate. Here's a handoff up the middle, close to a first down. I believe he has it. Couldn't tell who that was. That is Holiday. Holiday does it all for this team, returns punts. He's an excellent defensive player. He can run the ball, he catches the ball. He's a very versatile player for this Cavalier team. So Vandal in the shotgun again. Pate to his left, two receivers to the right. He fakes the Pate. He's going to keep it, and he is Ooh. stuffed. Really good play there by Colton Toller for the Tigers. Number 52 right there. He just blew that play up immediately. Loss of a yard, second down and 11 for Greenbrier West. Vandal in the shotgun again. He fakes the paint, throws to the left side. Nobody home, almost intercepted, just off the fingertips of Tyler Smith. It was intended for Tucker Lilly, but he wasn't looking. So that brings up third down and 11 for Greenbrier West. What's the play call here, Nate? I would say definitely throw the ball because we've early this season we've seen they can throw the ball pretty well. It looks like they try to get a screen out maybe to Lilly. He just wasn't ready for the ball, I guess. But I would expect a passing situation here. Yeah, throwing not a problem for Greenboro West. Vandal set multiple records this year throwing the ball. He's going to throw it. He's got it across the middle. He's got Ethan Holiday wide open. Holiday inside the 20 to about the 19. Definitely. So a big first down pickup there on third and 11 for the Cavaliers, and they are rolling early. He looked wide open. Looks like he can go back to Wildcat, too. First and 10 at the 19. Holiday takes a snap, goes to the left side looking for room, squirts through a hole, gets oh, takes a start hard hit, breaks off of it. Gets down to about the 10, close to the 10. That's a gain of eight and a half, nine yards right there for Holiday. But a flag down, and that's going to be holding on Greenbrier West. That's going to come back. So wipe out that nine-yard run from Ethan Holiday. They'll move the ball back to the Wirt County 29, make it first down and 20. Handoff looks like paid up the middle, maybe for a yard or two. Good stout run defense right there from the Tigers up front. <clears throat> I believe they're going to air it out again here. You know, that crossing right there through to uh, Ethan Holiday a little bit earlier was wide open. They should probably go back to that. Yeah, that tackle was from Braden Whipke. It's a good, pretty decent size there, offensive or defensive line rather for Work County. So West's best chance maybe these little quick passes and slants. 
to counter that big defensive line. Vandal in the shotgun. Sends Pate out to the left in motion. He's going to look that way, and he throws that ball. picked off. That's Channing Lowe with the interception for Wirt County. Brings it back a few yards, and Wirt County has taken the football over, and that's the first turnover of this game tonight. What is that? It's only his third interception. In cutting curl route, but the linebacker was in the way and couldn't get to him. Yeah, just stepped right in front of it. Here's the snap back to Smith, and that is, I believe, Chase Lowe. That is their star running back. And the 5'10, 190 pound senior just needs 54 yards, and after that, I think 52 yards to break the all time school record for rushing yards in a season. He will be the, the leader in that category. Smith back in the shotgun, has that split back formation. Gives to Channing low this time, and he immediately goes down. He might have just slipped. Yeah, looks like he slipped. Brandon Potticher was in the area for the tackle. You know, it's definitely slippery on that field. It's been raining all day long. Rain stopped about two hours ago, maybe. Just in time for this game. Smith drops back out of the shotgun again. Throws to the right side. Ball is deflected out of bounds. Incomplete. Good play by Evan Vandal there for the Cavaliers defense. Is that fourth down? Looks like going to punt. Yeah, I thought it was third down. I'm so. They're running a pretty quick offense. That is fourth down. Smith back to punt again for the Tigers. Another low snap. He picks it up. Oh, it's gets away. That ball was partially tipped and blocked. <clears throat> so good play there by the West special teams. Start with the ball in Tiger territory. Yeah, Trent Parker was the one that got that for West. So another good starting spot for the Cavaliers here on their third drive of the game. Last series, Vandal threw just his third interception of the season. But going to get an opportunity to redeem himself right here with this excellent field position the Cavaliers have. Looks to me like Ethan Holiday's not on the field. Hand it off to Jake. Yep, paid up the middle for about three or so. Wirt County defender fired up down there on the field. That was number 69 that made the play. Uh, Chase Parsons, he was the one that was really excited. So they're fired up early on that Weird County sideline. Their defense is definitely playing strong right now. Vandal gets a snap back. Fakes the paint and keeps it around the left side inside the 40 to the 35 to about the 33. That was a good enough for a West first down. Great P play action fake right there. <clears throat> Fooled me. I'm sure the whole defense expected a zone run by Jake Pate, but right. just kept himself to the opposite direction. Yeah, they can use that a lot. A lot of defenses will follow Pate, definitely. Vando in the shotgun, bringing Pate over beside of him to his left. Three receivers bunched to the right, one to the left. He gives it to Pate up the middle, and he picks up about another two or three there. Braden Whipke, another nice play from that. Work County defensive line. Whipke's made a couple of those early. Their defensive line has definitely been doing pretty good so far. Their defense as a whole has been staying strong. 
Yeah, they've made some adjustments since that first drive where West scored in about three or four plays. <clears throat> Definitely showing that they belong in these playoffs. Vandal in the shotgun by himself. It's a QR to back draw up the middle. Picking his way inside the 25 to about the 23. Close to a first down. Looks like he's about a yard short. The gain of about seven. It's a third down and one from the 23. 23 and a half looks like. Looks like they're going to call a timeout. Couldn't get the offense set. Yep, timeout west. We'll take a quick one with them here on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. We'll be right back. So after the timeout, West will face a third and one. Cole Vandal just picked up seven yards on that previous play. West leads six to nothing. <coughs> 322 left here in the opening quarter. High formation. Scoreboard brought to you by Bank of Monroe, member FDIC. Paid up the middle. And he squirts through for about three or four and a first down. Cavaliers, new set of downs coming up for them. So first and ten, Greenbrier West from the 19 of the Tigers. Under center now for Vandal. He's going to just drop back and hand it to Pate. Picks his way through the middle for about four more. Looks like the run game's picking up a little bit now. Yeah, they're getting a little aggressive with it. Call it five yards for Pate there. Second down and five. Definitely, if you get that run game efficiently going, it opens up more opportunities for the passing game, which I'm sure they'll utilize later. Vandal under center again. They're just going power football. This is a pitch back to Pate. He's got a hole <laughs> on that right side inside the 10. He squirts into... A's out at the one. Going to call him out of bounds. So he stepped out back at the four. So first and goal from the four for the Cavaliers. Definitely expect a power run here. If they go back in that I formation. Looks like they're going to. Yeah, Vandal in the eye again. Another hand off the Pate, up the middle. That's a Greenbrier West touchdown. Four-yard touchdown run from Jake Pate. And Greenbrier West takes a 12 to nothing lead with a minute 59 left here in the first quarter. See Pate just powers it in over a couple defenders. Channing low late to get to him. Chase Lowe, his brother, as well, tried to get him low, but Pate just rolls into the end zone. And Ridgeway's kicks up. Ridgeway's kick is good, and it's 13-0 Greenbrier West. 159 left in the first quarter. West 13, Work County 0. Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle here on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network, and we will be right back. Bank of Monroe values our local businesses, our communities and schools, and we value you. With locations in both Monroe and Greenbrier County, we are right where you need us to be. 
We are the local bank that you can trust with your business and personal banking needs. Visit us on the web or one of our branches in Union, Lewisburg, or Fairley. Bank local with the Bank of Monroe. Because we care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. <clears throat> so a four-yard touchdown run from Jake Pate. Extra point by Hayden Ridgeway puts the Cavaliers up 13 to nothing. And that's where we stand right now, under two minutes left here in the first quarter. It's like a deep squib kick. A little squib kick from Ridgeway picked up at the 27-yard line. That's Work County's Brody Ewing, and he gets it out to about the 34. It's about a seven-yard return there. First and ten, Wirt County. Third and 34, snap back to Smith. He gives to Chase Low. He picks up a yard to the 35. That'll bring up second down and nine. Moses Gray and Holiday in on that stop for the Cavaliers. Smith's going to be in the shotgun here again. Chase low to his left. Snap back. The give is to low. Not much room for him early. He picks up another yard. Falls forward to about the 36. Third down and eight coming up for the Tigers. Third and seven, Smith in the shotgun. Two uh, receivers to his right, and that's a false start on Chase Lowe. He started to take off before the ball was snapped. So that'll back him up five and make it third down and 12. I was thinking he jumped off sides in slow motion. Yeah. He definitely knew it as soon as he did it. He had an idea what he wanted to do. It just wasn't time for him to do it yet. Smith in the shotgun. He's got three receivers spread out to the right, one to the left. He looks. He throws to that right side. And he's got a big completion into Cavalier territory across midfield. That was Porter Goodwin. That was a great play from Work County. Yeah, Porter Goodwin came in tonight with not just nine catches, but 206 yards. So he's kind of a big play guy. He makes another one there. Got to the 48 of West. That's where first and 10 for Work County. We are at 26 seconds and counting on this first quarter clock. First and 10 Tigers. Snap back, and there's Chase Lowe. Got a hole. This is what he can do. He's across the 40, inside the 35 to about the 32. That's a great run. Yeah, big time run. Evan Vandal stopped him. He actually fell backwards. I think he just more so tripped over Evan Vandal. Hmm. But it's a tackle nonetheless. Work on is definitely a very promising drive so far. Yeah, it's about a 16-yard pickup there for Low. They're going to try to get one more playoff, it looks like, before the end of the quarter, and they do. It's Low again. He goes ahead for about three to the 30, maybe the 29-yard line. That's the end of the first quarter here in Charmco. Greenboro West 13, Work County 0. And we'll be back for second quarter action right after this. This is Brandon Baker and Greenbrier East running back Nate Suttle on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network.
Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be one soon. Parmar Stores have 200 locations. I want to read our sponsors for make this broadcast possible. Advanced Hydraulics, the Bank of Monroe member FDIC, SJ Neehawk Lumber, Smith's Towing and Truck Repair, Rolling Wrenches Road Service, and Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Bank of Monroe member FDIC and SJ Neehawk Lumber have sponsored us all season long. A big thank you to those two, especially, as we're back here for Action Work County. Second and I think seven. That was a good play there by the Cavalier defense. Jacob Witt, looks like. Good tackle there from Jacob Witt. He blew that play up and it hit him immediately. Yeah, Channing Lowe just kind of got the football and fell over. So loss of a couple there. Third down and 11 now for Weird County. Smith gets it. He's going to roll to pass. the left. Under pressure, under a lot of pressure, and down he goes. Colton Dunbar, number 80 for Greenbrier West with a big sack and a drive-killing tackle right there. And I would say that's going to put the Tigers in punt formation here in just a second. That right there just stuffed out all the momentum that Ward County built up. They had a great drive and headed for him for it to end like that. But a good play nonetheless by Colton Dunbar. And Work County will punt the football away. Tyler Smith, who is also the quarterback, gets his kick. It's a high kick. Trying to pin him inside the 20. It takes a bounce, and it's going to do just that. It's going to bounce back to about the six-yard line. So a good punt from quarterback Tyler Smith. West will have first and 10 at their own six. 94 yards to go to add on to this lead. So officially mark it at the seven. Looks like they're going eye formation. Yeah, they're going to stick to that eye formation with Vandal. He gives to Pate, looking for room, breaks a tackle, stayed on his feet. Gets to about the 15, so that's a gain of about eight. Another eight for Pate. Ah, I think they're going to call it seven. Ah. Six, second and four coming up for Greenbrier West. Looks like Jake didn't, Pate didn't get eight. <laughs> Another give to Pate. Pushes ahead for about two or three. Looks like he scoped a tackle for someone in the backfield immediately. There was a work defender that got back there as soon as the ball snapped. But yeah, they're giving him the first down. He fell. He fell forward and stretched the ball out a little bit. So they're giving him the first down. Good job there from Jake Pate. So first and ten now. Cavaliers from their own 22. Randall staying under center. He's going to pitch it to the left side for Pate. Pate leaps over a defender. Gets to about the 24, maybe the 25. Three-yard gain there. It's officially second down and eight. Vandal staying in that under center uh, formation. Fake handoff. Now he's going to throw it to Holiday, who's got some room. Holiday across the 30 to the 35, maybe down to about the 36. It's about a 17 yard gain for Ethan Holiday. New set of downs coming up for the Cavaliers. They've been running out of the eye formation all game long, and they pull out the play action from it. So he's got his receiver wide open as the linebackers probably committed to that 
uh, that's why they've been running all game so long. And it worked it worked out well for them there. Yeah, 17 yards there for Holiday. Now another give to Pate. Up the middle for a couple. They'll mark that at about the 39. Second down and eight coming up for Greenbrier West. 8.45 left here in the first half. Greenbrier West leading Wirt County 13 to nothing. Now Vandal going back in the shotgun. Peyton Holiday to each side. Fakes to Peyton. And a nice pass up across the middle. Oh, he fumbled. Fumble, but it looks like West got it. Tucker Lilly made a nice catch. Got across midfield, fumbled, but West does keep the football. Looks like he was trying to do too much and put the ball out there. I didn't see he recovered it. Was it Lilly that got back on it? No, I don't. I'm not sure which Cavalier player it was. I missed it. I looked down. They were all jumping on the ground. I couldn't tell which one had the ball. But West does recover it. Yeah, fortunately for the Cavaliers, they recover that, and it's first and 10 from the Tiger 47-yard line. Snap back to Vandal. Pate goes nowhere. He's stuffed. Holding tires on the tackle there for Wirt County. No gain. Second down and 10. West, they move pretty quickly. Already ready to snap it. They get it back to Vandal. He's going to go long. deep. Going deep, ball's deflected up in the air, intended for Ethan Holiday. Really good coverage on the play and a nice play on the ball by Porter Goodwin for the Tigers. That was great coverage. It was a good throw, but the defender was in the perfect spot to break that pass up. To third down and ten. Staring Greenbrier West in the face here. Vandals in the shotgun, gets a snap back, comes out right to the screen pass to Holiday. Holiday breaks one tackle inside the 40. Gets taken down pretty hard by Whipke at about the 38 37. That's a great play there. First down, pick up about 12 yards there for Holiday. I wouldn't expect a screen play on third and decently long, but. It certainly worked for them in there, so maybe they, that's a play to come back to later. Yes, I think they trust Holiday on plays like that because he's, he's kind of jittery and he's got enough speed and power to get the ball up the field. That's for sure. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. So first down and 10. From the 37, a flip to Jake Pate. He gets inside the 35 to about the 32. So pick up of about five yards right there for Pate. And we bring up second and five. Going back to that jet sweep again. 
I think eventually they'll break one of those big. They definitely have uh, enough blockers to just work Steve. Work kind of Steve is doing a good job of stopping it so far. Looks like going to go wildcat formation. Yeah, Holiday back there takes a snap, fakes one way, goes to the left. Being pursued by Ewing and brought down. That's a good play by Brody Ewing right there. Didn't allow Holiday to get outside. It's definitely a great tackle because, I mean, that might that might be a touchdown-saving tackle. I think Ethan Holiday could evade that backside safety back there, but number one was able to stop him. Vandal under center, pitch back to Pate. He's trying to get outside, nowhere to go. Now he finds a little bit of room inside the 25 to the 24. That was a great run by Jake. You know, he was running to the right side, looking for a hole to hit. Couldn't find it. Ran to his own blocker, but was able to find something really from nothing. Snap back to Vandal. He's looking deep to the end zone. He's got a guy wide open. That Tucker ball is Lilly. caught. Tucker Lilly got behind the defense, got wide open, and Vandal with a perfect throw to the front corner of that end zone. Greenboro West takes it. Extra point looks like it was blocked again. So West is going to keep a 19 to nothing lead with 531 left here in the first half. Greenboro West 19, Work County 0. We'll be right back after these messages from the Greenboro County, Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. So Tucker Lilly on the touchdown catch puts the Cavaliers up 19 to nothing. The kick taken here by Lowe at the 25. He gets out close to the 40 to about the 38. So a 13-yard return for Chase Lowe, and that's where Work County will take over. Work County showed on their last drive that they can also efficiently use the passing game. I think maybe it would be a good idea to utilize that a little bit more. So Work County going to start first and 10 at their own 37. Tyler Smith this time going to go under center. He's got a fullback high formation. formation behind him with a fullback. Handoff is a chase low. He just takes a dive to about the 39. Gain of two there for Lowe and the Tigers. He'll bring up second down and eight. That was a full house formation with uh, four, two blockers, one tailback. More of an old school formation. Foster, hurry. Right. Foster, right. Foster, right. 
Be second and seven. Five minutes left here to play in the first half. Chase Lowe in motion. They're going to give it to him. Yep. And he's tripped up nicely there by Potaker. Good pursuit there from Potaker from his linebacker spot. That play, it could look like it could work for County too. So third down and seven for the Tigers from their own 40. Smith in the shotgun Screen gets pass. a snap, throws over to the right side. That's number six, Alex Murray, or was that number five? five. Number five, that's Channing Low. It's going to be fourth down. I think we're kind of definitely should go for it here. It's fourth and about two and a half. Looks like they are going to go for it. Yeah, they're probably going to keep the offense on the field. Down 19 nothing on the road. They're typically your underdog anyway, so. Not much to lose. And a big play here could turn momentum in their favor. We're going to go full house formation again. And they're going to stop him, looks like. Or oh, maybe he maybe oh, he got far enough. Forward, he got it, I believe. Yeah, they're going to mark him for about three yards. Needed two, got three. Wow, that was a great effort there. It is the first down. Yeah, good run from Chase Lowe. Just kept his legs churning, got the first down. They hit him initially short of the line to gain, but they just kept pushing and pushing, and he was able to pick it, pick it up. Yeah, he never stopped running. Going back to that full house formation, looks like they're more of a power run team, looks like. Almost got him to jump off sides. Almost. There's a give to low. Good play in the backfield. That's Cole Vandal. Yep. Cole Vandal, the quarterback. Excelling on defense as well. And that's a loss of a couple there. Bring up second and 12. Oh, take a linebacker right there. Got back in the backfield as soon as the running back got the ball. Yeah, real good play there from Vandal. Second and 12, own 46 for the Tigers. Smith in the shotgun. He's got Channing Lowe in motion. Another He's going to look pass. to the left side, and that ball falls incomplete. He was looking for Chase Lowe. Oh, pass a, low a little pass. low. I think they definitely need to air out the ball on this play. Don't have the luxury of two yards. They have to pick up 12 this time. Third and 12 snap back. Bobbled by Smith, and he's going to have nowhere to go. Or is he making something out of nothing? Looks like he's going to be able to make something. Oh, oh got it down oh. the an Incomplete. Bounced off his chest or maybe his that hands. That would have been a huge and key first down for this Ward County team. The ball just dropped. It would have been a tough catch. You had to dive for it. But it was there. A play to be made on it. Just couldn't haul it in. That was a great effort by the quarterback. I'm surprised he got out of that situation. Pretty good pass, too. His receivers got to hold on to that. Fourth and 12, Smith to punt, Holiday and Pate back for Greenbrier West. Another low snap. Smith gets it away. Ball is fair caught at the 30 by Holiday. And that's where Greenbrier West will take over. 19 0 Cavaliers, 239 left in the first half. For Greenbrier West taking over first and 10 at their own 30. It's been a fast first half. It has been a very fast first half. Nothing wrong with that, though. Huh. Means not a lot of penalties. <laughs> I think Greenbrier West has, well, for the way their offense runs, so they got plenty of time to score. 
but you don't want to give work County too much time because they've been able to move the ball pretty good so far. Looks like the play clock might be running short, so they're hurrying. Right, he's got four receivers to the right. Snap back to Vandal. Fakes He's going to throw a deep right. to Jake. He's going long. Paid over the middle, and that ball is knocked away. Good play by the Tigers, number 17, Isaiah Sampson. He's also a receiver, and you could tell by the way he ran that route. It looked like he was running a receiver route. Good play on the ball to knock it away from Pate. Brings up second and ten. They're definitely a good play call. Fake the screen and throw it deep to your fast guy. The defense was able to pick it up good, though, so definitely something they could come back to. Vandal going to have three out to the right side, one to the left. He's going to keep it this time up the middle. Read good, option play. Yeah, good play there by the Tiger defense. Vandal may have gotten a yard right there. We're going to call it no gains to be third and ten. He, I definitely see what he was going for, but he did have Pate, who probably would have had a lane if he just pitched it to him. Right. That's another play they could come back to. Big opportunity with that one. Going to that three right side formation again. Vandal fakes again. He wants to go deep. I think he's going to. He does throw it long. Ball's up for grabs and caught, caught by Colton Dunbar. At the 35 by Colton Dunbar. What a big play. That's about a 30 great yards catch. there for Dunbar. And they're hurrying and spike it. spiking the ball. <clears throat> Still a minute 40 left. West Greenboro West doesn't trust their no huddle two minute offense in this certain situation. They definitely could get some points on this drive right before halftime. Oh yeah, plenty of time for their offense. Looks like the officials are discussing something. Yeah, something's going on down there. They're conversing with the West coaching staff. Second and ten after the spike. I think we're about ready to snap it here. Second and ten at about the 35. Minute 40 to go here in the first half. Cavaliers up 19-0. Vandal waits a snap, gets it, and he's going to take off. Keeper. Good, hard, positive run there from Vandal to about the... Let's see where they're going to mark it here. Marking it about the third, between the 31 and 32. It's third down and five. Four receivers to the right on this one. Snap back. Screen. Going screen to Dunbar. Dunbar's got some blockers. Fights through a tackler and a good oh. tackle there. I think that's a good one, and it was. Do you have enough for the first down? Uh, it's, it's close. I believe he might have been a little bit short. Maybe a yard. The ball's at the 27. Fourth and two, so. Needed the 25, yeah. So fourth and two. Coming up for Greenbrier West. I don't know if I would expect a screen pass again or maybe going back to the I-formation run that they were running with Jake Pate before when they scored on the uh, the last drive. They could do that, but with minute 02 left in the half, it's going to have to get the on ball quick, try to score before that clock runs out. I could see something quick to Holiday or, or get the ball to Pate. Yeah, I could see that too. We'll see what they do when we get back.
So it looks like we're ready to go here. Fourth down and two. Cavaliers going for it. On the Work County 27-yard line. Vandal in the shotgun. Two receivers. He's going to keep it up the middle, and he has enough for a first down and then some. Good run for Vandal up to about the 19 or the 20. There's a flag. And there is a flag. I did not see that come out, but it's down there. Face mask on Work County. It's like a five-yard face mask. Attack on five to the 15. That's not what you want if you're Work County's defense. That stops the clock and gets them even closer to the end zone. Vandal on the shotgun, fakes the paint, goes to the right side. It's Holiday, Makes a nice move. Ethan Holiday plows into the end zone over the defender. He <laughs> knocked Isaiah Sampson on his back, and Greenbrier West goes up 25 to nothing. That was a great play call there. What was that, 19, I think 19 yards? Makes the extra point. Greenbrier West leads 26 to nothing. We are 52 seconds from halftime. We'll be right back here on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Squib kick. Yeah, squib kick picked up here. Returned across the 30 to the 32. That was Sampson on that return. He's the one Holiday ran through to get into the end zone. I think Holiday was going to score anyway, but a little leap for some theatrics there on that touchdown. 26 0 Greenbrier West. Not, not much time remaining in the first half. Yeah, 38 seconds here. Own 32. Not sure what Work County is going to try to do here. I think this first play will determine it. Looks like they're going to try and be aggressive. That's not going to work out. Didn't work. Colton looked like Colton Dunbar got a hold of his helmet. It just pushed him, him down. Ground. That Dunbar, I think that's his second sack tonight. Uh, I believe it is. So Looks like Warcon is just going to let this clock run out for halftime. Yeah, we're down to 15 seconds. Trying to figure out how to adjust. They might snap it. They will snap it. They're going to run one more play. Smith going to go long. He's got a guy. It's intercepted. intercepted. Ball is picked off by Marcus Adkins of the Cavaliers. And that will end the first half. Halftime, Greenbrier West 26, Wirt County 0. This is Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle. We will be back to recap the first half in just a few minutes right after this on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network.
The Bank of Monroe values our local businesses, our communities and schools, and we value you. With locations in both Monroe and Greenbar County, we are right where you need us to be. We are the local bank that you can trust with your business and personal banking needs. Visit us on the web or one of our branches in Union, Lewisburg, or Fairley. Bank local with the Bank of Monroe because we care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
Yeah. Huh? Do what? Yeah. I'm right here. I'm not far.
So we're about three minutes away from second half kickoff. Greenboro West leads Work County 26 to nothing. How we got there in the first quarter, Ethan Holiday had a 14-yard touchdown run with 11-18 left in the first. It gave Greenboro West a 6 to nothing lead after the PAT was no good. Then a four-yard touchdown run from Jake Pate with a minute 59 left in the second quarter, made it 13 to nothing. Tucker Lilly then cut a long touchdown pass in the second quarter, made it 19 to nothing Greenboro West. And then a 15-yard catch from Ethan Holiday, his second touchdown of the game, made it 26 to nothing, and that is where we stand currently as we're here waiting on the second-half kickoffs. Some Work County players and both teams actually going through their stretches down on the field and some light jogging. And we'll be right back here on the Greenberg Valley Channel Sports Network for the second-half kickoff after this. Go 
So we're almost ready for the second half kickoff. Still a little over a minute and a half away, but Wirt County gets the ball to start the second half. They had a few good drives and played some pretty decent defense there at certain times in the first, first half. But Greenbrier West, their talent just kind of overpowers a lot of the teams that they play. But Work County is very capable of coming back. They've shown some promise in some of their offensive plays and defensively as well. As you said, West has been kind of overpowering them, but Work County is definitely putting up a valiant effort. Definitely. Yeah, it's weird because Work County, I mean, has shown to be pretty solid out there, but West is kind of on pace for their averages. They average just under 50 points a game and only allow six. So they win an average of 50 to 6, basically. And that it's on pace right now for 52 nothing. But I could see Work County making a little bit of a run if, if they get a break or two. But we'll see how it goes here in the second half when we kick off here in about 30 seconds or so. West has shown to be more of a second-half team as well. If you remember going back to that James Monroe game, it was tied 8-8 eight to eight at the half, and James Monroe didn't score any, any points in the second half, and West went on to score... 25 points in the whole uh, in the game. Eight of those being in the first half, the rest being the second half. So, and obviously, Jensen Rose is a pretty good team, so they've definitely shown to put up uh, more of a fight in the second half. Right. So, I would say Green Bar West is probably going to find something, come out strong here in the second half. So we're ready for that opening second half kickoff. Hayden Ridgeway approaching the football and second half play is underway. It's a grounding kick. Fielded at the 35. Well, kicked around, almost taken by West. But Work County finally falls on it. Isaiah Sampson, I think, is the one that got on it at about the 28-yard line. So that's where Work County will start second half. First and ten. Here's a snap Smith. He's going to give up the middle to Chase Lowe. And Lowe gets up to the 30, about a gain of three. Brandon Potaker got the tackle there for the Cavaliers. Smith in the shotgun, player to each side. He's going deep. He's, he's got, got a man, man wide open. That's Sampson, and he's got it. Right there is what Nate and I were talking about. They've shown potential on both sides of the ball, and they reach it right there. Isaiah Sampson, big gain down the field from Tyler Smith and Work County now in business and in Greenbrier West Territory at the 35-yard line. Finally able to put the uh, place together. Finally, able to connect on the big one as well, and that's exactly what they've been needing all game long. See if they could pull off a few more of those to come back in this game. Snap back to Smith. He gives up the low up the middle, and he's got a couple. Hey, 
Cole Vandal looked like he was the first one in there to make that stop. Now Smith in the shotgun. Low to his left. He drops. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got a pretty oh, decent throw and a heck of a catch. catch. That is a big-time catch for Wirt County's Porter Goodwin. That we talked about him a little before the catch. game. Doesn't have a whole lot of catches this year, but the ones he does catch are usually impressive and for big gains, and that's exactly the case right there. That was a very impressive catch. And Wirt County is, I don't know where this was in the first half, but they need more of this. He must have had a good halftime speech. Smith under center is going to give to Lowe. Lowe plows ahead. Eh, maybe got a yard. So second and goal coming up for the Tigers from the west five-yard line. Going back with that full house formation. Yeah, this is going to go to low. And he gets it up the middle, dives ahead to inside yard. the five to about the four. Pick up of another yard. Who's that still on the ground? Is that Cole Vandal? It is. It's, it is Cole Vandal, number two. Doesn't look like he's feeling too hot at the moment. So we'll, we'll step away while they tend to quarterback Cole Vandal and be right back after these messages on Green Bear Valley Channel Sports Network. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from SJ Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call SJ Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. Cole Vandal hobbles off the field. He was putting weight on his leg, so that's a good sign. So hopefully he's okay. Smith gets it. Looks like he wanted to hand it off. Nobody there, so he keeps it. He got to about the two or the three. We're being driven back by Ethan Holiday. It is going to be fourth and goal. Number five, Kang Lowe is carried. Tackled by number 44, Brandon Potter. Nate, you know the feeling of an injury, injured player down on the field. What goes through your head when you're hurting like that? Not too bad. Oh, here's a bad snap. It snapped back, and Smith just dives it to the ground. Maybe should have thrown that up. Easier said than done from up here. Greenboro West is going to take over. Trent Parker got in there to blow the play up after the bad snap. So Greenboro West will take over first and 10 at their own 10. Wasn't that bad of a snap. It's just he kind of batted it up. Maybe just got a little bit nervous. Interested to see if Cole Vandal comes back in the field for the Cavaliers on this drive yes. or not. Yes, that's a good point. If you're West, you kind of you hope he does. But he is. 
He is. That's good to and see. You can tell he's favoring that that injured leg, but he's under center. They Hand off to Jake. Quick. Yep, paid around the right he's side. He's got room. A crease. He's to the 25, <laughs> to the 30, to about the 32, 33. Pick up of about run. 23 yards there for Jake Pate. Really good start to this series for the Cavaliers. Colvin was definitely favoriting that leg, ankle, whatever he might have injured. But if he just keeps handing it off to Jake Pate, we won't have to worry about putting too much pressure on that leg. Yeah, he's got weapons that he can use to stay healthy. Here's another give up the middle to Pate for about three. Put him down at about the 36. Second down and six. Vandal in the shotgun. Fakes the holiday. The throws Dunbar. out the Dunbar, and that play's blown up. Trying to stay on his feet, but can't get away from the defenders. Anthony Morgan that made the initial hit, and it was cleaned up by Braden Whipke. Whipke's made a couple nice plays this evening. He and number 52, Colton Toller, a pretty good tandem there on that front, front line for the Tigers. Snap back to Vandal. He fakes a handoff, goes up the middle. Maybe a yard. I would expect a punt here. Surprised to see the West coaching staff call a QB keeper with Cole Vandal, who obviously is a little bit hurt. Right. So West comes out in punt formation. I think this is their first punt of the night. It is their first punt. See how good their punter is. It's Isaac Agee. Good high kick. That's a heck of a punt. Excellent roll on Agee's kick. Down to the 17 of Work County. So good job of flipping the field there by Agee. Let's see if we're going to take a break or stay here. Boy, this game is going. I would expect to just stay here. <laughs> it is. It's flying, but there's only six minutes left in the third quarter. We will stay here. And if you're just tuning in, 26 0 Greenbrier West leads Work County. That was the halftime score, so we're scoreless here in the second half. Each team has had a possession. Turnover on downs for the Tigers and a punt for West. And now Work County has it back first and 10 at their own 17. <clears throat> Snap back to Smith. He's going to give it to Chase Lowe. <coughs> Plows ahead maybe for a yard to the 18. Second and nine. The uh, Green Bar West defense has been playing great all night long to this point, being able to stop the run. There has been the last drive, where kind of offense was able to get something through the air, see if they can do that again. Looks like they're going to try it. They're going deep. That looked like contact. There comes a the flag. That's probably a pretty good call there. It looked like he was either holding on to his shirt or pushed him right at the last seconds. That's going to be pass interference on Green Bar West. Give an automatic first down to Work County. Definitely, if I was work county, airing the ball out, so it seems to be working. So, automatic first down for work county.
from their own 32. Smith back in the shotgun. I believe that's Chase Lowe to his left. He's got a couple receivers to the left. So just can't he gives it a low up the middle. Little hole there. It was closed up pretty quickly by the West defense, led by number 67, Cameron White. Five-yard pickup, second down and five, coming up for the Tigers. That's low up the middle. Short gain there. Colton Dunbar brought him down for the Cavaliers. Pick up a two. Third down and three. Work on you. Hasn't really thrown it many screen passes, if I remember correctly. So I think this would be a good play to pull out maybe a short screen to the looks probably the left side before they got most blockers. Are you going to run the ball though? We'll give it the low, and he's close. I think his I think he got it. His final push there got it. Give Chase Low four yards on third and three, and that is a first down for the Tigers. First and ten, snap back to Smith. He's looking long to the left He's side. Got He's him. got oh. Samson open. He was wide open. He was wide open. Missed opportunity there for the Tigers. As Samson got way behind the secondary. But just could not haul it in here on this pretty cool, chilly night here in Charm Co. Definitely. If I'm work County, I'm throwing the ball. Because every time they've been throwing the ball, it's either a pass interference call or a good completion down the side on. It wasn't yeah. even completed there, but he was definitely open. Yeah, the receivers were getting some pretty solid separation. Been kind of impressed by them doing that. There's low up the middle. Flag comes in late. Wrapped up by Trent Barker, number 52. There is a flag. I wonder what that is. Maybe holding. Uh, chop block. Yep. So that'll back Work County up a little. That was two offensive linemen that chop blocked. Now, if you're working, you really got to try and air the ball out. So second and long for the Tigers. Giving the ball back even further. Yeah, they're taking it back even more. Putting it on the, their own 29. So, uh, yeah, you really have to throw the ball on display. Smith rolls to the right, throws back to the middle. And Another pass interference call. Yeah, it's going to be an interference call. I think that was Isaac Agee. Got to him a little, just a little early. I think that was Pushed him in early. the back. That's tough for West, too, because it was second and 25. It's going to give him an automatic first down. Caught it on 20. I thought it was 22. I, I also believe it was 22. Yeah, I think he just said that wrong. It was on it. Yeah, it was on age. Yeah. There he corrected it. Well, there we go. Second and 10. So it's not going to be an automatic first down. Okay. Thought all pass interference was automatic. Maybe not. Chase Lowe stopped there for no gain. Good tackle. I believe that was Potaker. Give me third down. 
So no gain there for Lowe. Third down and 10 facing the Tigers. 3.30 and counting here on the third quarter clock. West up 26-0. Scoreless third quarter for both teams. Smith gets yeah, his snap. Throw it again. He's going deep again. He's, He's got, got a man, man there. Oh. And it's Samson again. Samson likes to air out for the ball, and I think when he comes down, it jars it kind of jars it loose from him. That's the third or fourth time he's jumped up backwards like that and tried to come down with it and just lost it. Looked like he got a little shaken up there, but he's walking back to the play set. Oh, shaking up punt again for Work County. Yeah, Smith going to punt it away. Low snap, picks it up, gets it away. Out of bounds. He's out of bounds. Greenboro West will have very good starting field position. See where he marks it. He's still walking. He's going to put it at the West 42. It's going to read over our sponsors again here real quick. Advanced Hydraulics, Bank of Monroe member FDIC, SJ Neahawk Lumber, Smith's Towing and Truck Repair, Rolling Wrenches Road Service, and the Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. We thank each and every one of those for making the broadcast possible. It's going to be Snap back to Cole Vandal, but like somebody moved early, it should be a false start on the Cavaliers. I believe it was two of the wideouts in that quad formation to the right side that yeah. jumped off just a little early. We're going to call it on the Jake Pate. Oh, yeah, I got Pate for moving just a little too early. So going to try the same play, just this time Colton. Yep, screen to Dunbar, a little low, incomplete. So second and 15 coming up for Greenbrier West. As I've been saying all game, I think they need to air it out. It's always more fun to watch whenever the ball is in the air. Right. And they've connected on several, so they could probably do it again. I believe they can. I think they should. We have an official timeout. Some kind of play clock issue. So we will be right back. This is Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. The Bank of Monroe values our local businesses, our communities and schools, and we value you. With locations in both Monroe and Greenbrier County, we are right where you need us to be. We are the local bank that you can trust with your business and personal banking needs. Visit us on the web or one of our branches in Union, Lewisburg, or Fairley. Bank local with the Bank of Monroe because we care. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. We're back and hand off to Jake Pate around the right side, trying to get outside. He's being pursued, and he's finally brought down. Not much there. I actually think he may have lost a yard or two. Yeah, he couldn't find a hole he likes. He just kept stretching it and finally got brought down. Yeah, the Wildcat with A.G. He's got some speed around the left side. 
Good solid play there to the 45. That must be the scoreboard issue they had. We're having it as well because we're, we're tied in with the scoreboard here. Yeah, it says 26. So there's a punt from West. Yeah, he picks it up. That's Porter Goodwin. Set it across the 20 to about the 22 or 23. About the 22. And that's where Work County will start. Looks like we're going to stick around right here. <clears throat> if you're just tuning in, the score is 26 to nothing West. The 54 to 44 score on our board is not correct. It's 26 to nothing Greenbrier West. They're having a scoreboard issue on the field. Snap back to Tyler Smith, and he's going to throw to the right side. It is off the hands of Porter Goodwin. Incomplete first down or second down coming up. Second down. Going to give up, up the middle to low. C.W. Sturgill got in there. So no gain for low right there. Third down and ten. Let's see if coming up. they decide to throw it. Probably be a good idea. They do. Smith rolls out. He's going to throw it up the field. The ball is incomplete. Good play there by Greenbrier West Marcus Atkins to jump up, knock that pass away. Looks like it's going to be another punt for Work County. Yeah, it's fourth and ten, so they're going to kick it away. They're not going to go for it in this spot on the field. Although time is, is running out. Another low snap or punted away by Smith. Holiday picks it up. He's got some room and takes it back. He likes that dive play where he just runs over defenders, so he gets it back to the, about the 31. That's where Greenbrier West will take over. Again, if you're just tuning in, the score is 26 to nothing, Greenbrier West, but the main scoreboard here at the field is having issues with the clock. So there's, there's actually 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Our scoreboard and the one on the field is showing 12 minutes, but there's 42 seconds. Vandal looking deep towards the end zone. That ball is intercepted. intercepted. Porter Goodwin. The second interception thrown tonight from Vandal. He had two all season coming in, he's and he's two thrown two game. tonight. Fortunately, though, Cavaliers still up 26-0, so as of right now, it's not going to hurt that much. So Work County going to start at their own two. Not ideal against the Cavalier defense. So that interception 
Could have been worse. And there you safety. go. They got two points. That's a safety. Definitely a safety. Good play in the backfield. They gave the ball. They gave the ball to Chase Parsons, who's an offensive lineman, to try to get out of there, but it did not work. Cole Vandal got him in the end zone. It's 28-0 now. Cavaliers. 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, interception didn't hurt as bad as, as one would think. So we're actually going to put 18 seconds on the clock. Still having clock issues out there. And like I said, we are piped into the main scoreboard. So what it shows, we show. So a free kick now coming from Work County after the safety. Cole Vandal tackled Chase Parsons. Kicks away and fielded at about the 31-yard line, and that is Pate. And Pate turns on the Jets and gets up to the 40 of Work County. Oh, inside the 40 to the 39. Really good return there from Jake Pate and Greenbrier West. Now with nine seconds left in the third quarter, a field position like this has a chance to maybe put this one in the books. Jake. Pate, nice cut up the middle, inside the 30, still on his feet to about the 27. Good first down run to end the third quarter for Jake Pate. After three, Greenboro West leads 28 to nothing over Weir County. This is Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. I'm Brandon Baker along with Nate Suttle, and we will be back right after this. So back here, Vandal in the shotgun. Going to drop back and throw a short pass across the middle. Yeah, it's Dunbar. And he's pushing his way inside the 20. Looks like he got up to about the 16 before his forward progress was stopped, and that looks like where they're going to mark it. Another first down there after a gain of about 12. Yeah. 
Cavaliers really imposing their will right here. Paid up the middle. Inside the 10 to about the 8. Yeah, flag on the play. Maybe some extracurricular activity on the bottom of that pile. Let's see what the, what they're going to call here. Yep. Personal foul on Work County. They call a late hit on Parsons. He's the player who tried to run out of the end zone on the other end. Got the tackle for a safety. So first and goal, Greenbrier West at the four. They score here. This one might, might well be, be over. over. No, they wrap them up pretty well. Yep, loss of a yard there from Tate. Looks like maybe some, maybe some other pushing and shoving going on down there. Parsons again there on that play. <coughs> Second and goal at the five for Greenboro West. See what they want to try here. Vandal is going to keep it. Keeper. Pushing his way to about the two. Third and goal coming up for West. Whoa. And there's another flag. Vandal just got shoved to the ground. That was Braden Whipke. That's going to be another personal foul. It's going to be half the distance, probably about one Vanderbilt yard penalty. smiles down there. I don't know if it's... Should be a first down. <laughs> no, third down. So that'll put them on the one, probably a little inside the one. That's about at the one. Put all that space to the right side. Now I'm going to go over to the left. He tries to dive, but he doesn't get in. Yep, was that Pate? That was Jake Pate. Yeah, Pate tries to dive. Stop short. Pate. Now fourth and goal with the one. If, he got, if the ball was snapped at the two-yard line, I think Jake definitely would have gone in <clears throat> just a little bit short. Right. So West obviously going to go for it here. Try to put the nail in this coffin. Definitely expect a dive play. Back in the eye formation. <coughs> timeout maybe? Looks like a timeout. West calls it. We'll take a quick one with them. This is the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. We'll be right back. Greenbrier West leads 28 0 over Work County.
Fourth and goal coming up here. We're going to go Wildcat with a running back West. next to him. Yeah, A.G. back there. He gets it, runs to the right side. Wide. He's trying to it's get there. Short. What a nice play. That's Chase Lowe. Chase Lowe with a nice stop. So West turns it over on downs, and Work County will take the ball back. But once again, deep in their own territory. So if you're West there, you like a touchdown. But if the worst case scenario is for Work County to start at their own two, well, things could be worse. Now West focus is probably on making them use a lot of clock. Oh, the ball's out. Give up the middle. Looks like a fumble. I think Steve, West, West recovered. It. They it. do. West got it. <laughs> recovered by Jacob Nutter. Jacob Nutter. Big fumble recovery right there. So West is going to get a new set of downs from the five-yard line. And another chance to put this one in the books. Well, that escalated awful quickly. 9.32 left here in the game. And West will get probably four more chances here to put this game away for good. Vandal going under center. Gives to Jake Pate. Jake Pate pushes ahead. He's into the end zone. Greenbrier West goes up 34 to nothing on Jake Pate's five-yard touchdown run. And don't want to do the announcer jinx, but that... up 34 nothing, pending this extra point from Ridgeway. High snap, kick up. He got it. 35 nothing, Greenbrier West. 9.28 left here in the fourth quarter. This is Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. And we'll be back for the kickoff right after this. Kickoff, there's a flag on the play. That ball was returned by Brody Ewing. <laughs> Looks like it's on work count, and it is holding. We'll move that one back about 10 yards. Oh, they're going to call a personal foul. Looked like it was holding that he was calling, but he's calling personal fouls. That's going to put him back 15 yards. All the way back to about the 21. First and 10 Tigers at their own 21. Kind of a bunch backfield. They're going to run it with Smith. He goes to the right, tries to cut back inside. Nothing there. 
Good play there from Trent Parker and Colton Dunbar. Dunbar looks a little shaken up, favoring that leg. So a loss of two there, second down and 12 from their own 19. Snap back to Smith. He's going to throw that. It looks like a backwards pass. If I'm West, I'm getting that ball, and they do. Oh, wow, it's going to be a touchdown. And it's a touchdown. Yeah, it was a backwards pass. I think it's Tucker Lilly that got it, and it is. it is. Yeah, Work County tried to set up a screen. And he threw it about four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Ball was just bouncing in the middle of nowhere. No whistle, so, I mean, yeah, Tucker no Lilly. whistle. Play still alive. Yep, Tucker Lilly picks it up. Touchdown West. 41 to nothing, 7.27 to go. Hayden Ridgeway will come on for the extra point as Wes now has, has safely put this one in the bag. Ridgeway's kick up. It's a low kick, but it looked like it was good, and it is, but there's a flag down. I believe that penalty is going to be on work count. I think he tried to jump over the line to block right. that one. I thought to do I saw that. that. I do believe that is going to be the penalty, and it is. They're going to force it on the kickoff, looks like. Yep, so the penalty is on Work County. So extra point will be good as Greenboro West declines it, and it's 42 to nothing. Cavaliers in complete control here, 7.27 to go in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back on the Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. So here's the kickoff, and that ball's going to roll into the end zone for a touchback. Work County will bring it out to their own 20 to start this drive. Not much you could do to track her back in this game. So just might want to try to get this one done so we can all go back home. <laughs> it's cold. It is very cold out here tonight. And as you don't get cold, my hands are like numb. Yeah, my feet are freezing. <laughs> Run up the middle there for a couple yards. That's Chase Lowe. We don't have the official stats. He needed 54 yards coming into tonight to be the school's all-time leading rusher. He may have it, but I'm not 100% sure. But if he does, congratulations to him on that accomplishment. If he doesn't have it, still definitely put that into a fantastic oh, yeah. high school career. Right. It's There's a deep, deep throw from Smith. Just too far. Just out of the reach of Channing Low. So third down and seven coming up for Greenbrier West. Let's go, West! 
Snap back to Smith. He is looking deep again. Going to throw it. That ball's picked off. Ethan Holiday. Will he get his third touchdown of the night? He Absolutely, he will. Pick six. That's a pick six. So Holiday scores his third touchdown of the night. He's had a running score, a caught a touchdown pass, and now runs back an interception for a pick six. There but there is a flag. flag. There's two flags on the field. Probably both for the same penalty. Yeah, I want to say it was after the play. I think the score will be good. <clears throat> really have to hope it's not a holding call in the return. West looks like they're going out for the extra points. It's I on think Work they, County. Yeah, it's on Work County. So the touchdown is good. And West is just taking over complete control in dominating fashion like they've done all season. So 48 nothing. Thanks for that. Hayden Ridgeway, extra point. Kick up. Kick is good. 49 nothing. Greenbrier West. Forty-nine to nothing, Greenbrier West. <clears throat> Nate, how's this one been for you? It's it's been a roller coaster. You know, a lot of great things. Roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> yeah, I can see. You might be able to say that. Uh, it's been definitely dominated by Greenbrier West, but Work, uh, Work County. Is that, that's who they're right. They've put up a pretty good fight at times, but ultimately Greenbrier West has shown that they are the better team. Yeah, Work County actually, I mean, they have a lot of talent, you can tell, but Greenbrier West just used to destroying everybody, and that's no different tonight. Here's a kickoff fielded by Work County's number 30, Anthony Morgan. Five and a half minutes to go, just over five and a half minutes to go. To the conclusion of this one, and everybody can stick around. Nate Suttle here is going to try to go down and get a couple questions from Greenboro West head coach Kelly Vaughn. If you can't find Kelly, get an assistant coach. That'll be just as just as good. They're going to know. I've never seen Greenboro West head coach, so I don't really know what I'm looking he for. He actually he played football for Wake Forest. He started for Wake Forest for three years. Oh, well that's... On, I think he was a defensive line, either defensive line or offensive line. That is impressive. <clears throat> Here's a snap back. <laughs> They're going to let Chase Parsons shot put the ball down the field. Incomplete. And I don't know if Parsons has ever thrown that play before, but I will be showing up at their track and field meets this for spring shot put. for the shot put and watch him do that because it looked like he can gun it. That was <laughs> about as far as I can throw. <laughs> Hit the receiver in the hands, too. Maybe he should try for quarterback. What number yeah, was I mean, he? The throw was right there. Do you remember what number that was? The receiver? The quarterback. Uh, it was at Parsons, I think, 59. Chase Parsons. That's the wrong one. There he is again. He's in the Wildcat. He's taking up the middle. That's low. That's Channing Low. I saw the five. I thought it was Parsons again. Hmm. 
they let him throw the ball. He must be a senior. Ethan Holiday on the stop there for the Cavaliers. It's the low again in the Wildcat. Up towards the 30 to about the 29, close to a first down. Ball at the 29, first and 10 for Work County. 312 here in counting in the fourth quarter. It's a cold night now here at Charmco. Low up the middle. Not a lot there. Like I said, I don't know if Chase Lowe has his 54 yards. We don't have official stats up here. If he doesn't, he's close. He actually may have it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% positive. Smith in the shotgun, or Lowe in the shotgun, Channing Lowe. He's going to be rolls sacked. Out and he is slammed. C.W. Sturgill. Rushing him down. Yep, C.W. Sturgill. Throws him down to the ground. That shot put throw earlier may have been chaining low. We'll have to get back and watch that because I don't, I don't think Parsons was in there now that I think about it. Forty-nine, nothing. Greenbrier West. A minute forty left here in this game. Greenbrier West came in at allowing five point nine points a game. It doesn't look like they're going to let Work County get that far. As there's another nice play. That's West number fifty-three. That is Jacob Witt. He has had a really nice game on the defensive end. First and ten. It brings Smith back in the game for his last little bit of his season. He throws a nice ball across the middle. And that ball, was it caught by Sampson? It was. Isaiah Sampson with a nice catch at the 40-yard line. And we are down under 40 seconds. If you can, stay tuned. Our Nate Suttle is going to try to get a couple questions for Greenberg West coach Kelly Vaughn after the conclusion of this game. Smith goes deep. Incomplete. And the clock is just running. And I, that will probably be the last play of this game as they've left the clock going. Down to 10 seconds. Work County trying to get one more snap off for 2023, and they do. Smith going deep, incomplete, game over. Greenbrier West, state playoff game number one complete. They will play next week. We'll let you know the date and time and who they play when we know. But they take a 49-0 victory over Work County here in round one. Greenbrier West had. They were up 26-0 at halftime. They scored 23 in the second half. 
So 26 in one half, 23 in the next. Very good balance. They ran it. They passed it. They had a defensive touchdown. They had a safety. Did a lot of good things out there on the field tonight for head coach Kelly Vaughn, who, again, will try to get with Nate Suttle here in just a few minutes. Really, really good performance from Greenbrier West. Very impressive as they hope to carry that on next week as they survive and advance here in the state playoffs, Class A. So I'm going to get off here real quick. We'll come back and recap it. We'll try to get down to Nate Suttle as soon as we can with Coach Vaughn. And y'all can look forward to, to watching that with Greenbury's running back Nate Suttle turned broadcaster for these playoffs. Have you been talking to Aaron? Yeah. You're doing the interview? Yeah. Uh, is that what we're... I don't think we're all, I don't think we're all in there. You need to catch him? I don't know. I mean, my already been in there. You don't Drop right there, gonna be good here.
there. So Greenbrier West, 49 nothing winners over Work County here in the first round of the state playoffs in Class A. It was 20 to 6 nothing at halftime. In the third quarter, Greenbrier West got a safety. Cole Vandal tackled Chase Parsons in the end zone. It was 28 nothing West at that point, and it stayed that way till the end of the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, West put up three touchdowns, two on defense. Jake Pate had a five-yard touchdown run to make it 35 nothing early in the fourth. Then Tucker Lilly... Took a backwards pass, scooped it up off the ground, ran it into the end zone for a 42-0 Cavalier lead. And Ethan Holliday capped the scoring off with his third touchdown of the night with an interception return for a touchdown. He also had a touchdown run and a touchdown catch in the first half. So that's where we finished. We're going to have Nate Suttle hopefully get a hold of Greenboro West coach Kelly Vaughn down on the field. And... We'll let everybody know West's opponent next Friday as soon as we know. They'll play Friday. We do know it'll be here in Charmco. But that's going to be it from up here in the box. And we'll wait on Nate Suttle to get a hold of Greenboro East coach Kelly Vaughn or a Greenboro West coach of some sort down on the field. Till next time, from up here, this has been Brandon Baker and Nate Suttle, who's now down on the field for the Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. Have a great night, everybody.
you hear me? Yeah, there you are. Like there was a game for the 
Can they still pick me up over here? Good. He was having fun. I'm with you now, right? Yes, sir. We good? Yeah. Everything good? First of all, great to meet you. Yep. Coach Kelly Vaughn. What's your name, sir? Nate Stop. Nate, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, great game there tonight. Oh, it was. It was. Uh, defense. Go ahead. What would you say was the strongest point of the game tonight? Got to go with the defense. Not that the offense played bad, but the defense, I thought, stepped up and played uh, uh, really well for four quarters. Got some turnovers, got some scores, and that really helps. So I totally agree with that. Uh, uh, looking forward to this next game you have next Friday? Yeah, we're not for sure, actually, the way the, we're, we're, we're allowed to host next week. So uh, I'm not sure until tomorrow if we're going to be playing Friday, Saturday, or Saturday night. Uh, I just got information that Wahama beat Summers County, so it looks like we're playing Wahama, but I can't give you the date, time, uh, until this weekend. Sir, uh, what is your, uh, we're gonna, is there anything you need to work on? Yeah, we, yeah, we made a couple bad throws tonight. we got to protect the ball a little better, uh, but, you know, we just, that's part of the game, and he's got to keep his head up. He's thrown uh, a couple nice passes, touchdown passes tonight. We're, Spot on. He threw about 24, 25 uh, for the year, and uh, not too many turnovers know, either. No, no. He's only up till tonight. He just had two, and I know he had two picks tonight. But uh, that's well, that's part of the game. Well, that's part of the game. Right. They're, they're they're a football team too. Sorry. Yep, that was good stuff. Plenty to build on for this next game coming up. Uh, looking forward to watching you guys. Thank you for your time. And Absolutely. I hope you guys come back next week. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll see that'd you next be, week. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys. Appreciate sorry. you. All right. Good. Good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate yes, it. If you need something, I'll around. Yes, sir. Huh? Thank you for watching the group West Virginia uh, triple a, single A playoffs, WVSAC, and we'll be here next week. And I'm Nate Soto. Bank of Monroe values our local businesses, our communities, and schools, and we value you. With locations in both Monroe and Greenberg County, we are right where you need us to be. We are the local bank that you can trust with your business and personal banking needs. Visit us on the web or one of our branches in Union, Lewisburg, or Fairley. Bank local with the Bank of Monroe. Because we care. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Fall means home improvement projects with S.J. Needhawk. Indoor or outdoor, S.J. Needhawk can help. Makita Tools can get your lawns cleared with blowers, weed eaters, and chainsaws. And now is the time to look at new flooring, adding some new color to your walls, and new lighting fixtures. With tools and products from S.J. Needhawk, you'll have everything you need to get started on your fall projects. When you're ready to talk to someone who knows, call S.J. Needhawk Lumber Company, your home solution. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. 
We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture.